see the world has evolved by now you should know that you should separate the products you use for your face away from products you, you use for your get body this question that i'm not fair do i need sunscreen there's no such thing as a sunscreen that can protect your skin against the sun for 24 hours there's no such sunscreen that is why they always advise you to carry your sunscreen everywhere you go do not forget that should be your watch word day protect repair night lighting and brighten <laughs>
your body can be sensitive your face can be oily it is very very possible so as soon as you know the, the skin type you have then you know what kind of scrub you can go for what kind of lotion you can go for so we have the likes of coffee scrub suitable for people with sensitive skin people with um dry skin because coffee is very very good for dry skin it's also great for aged skin that is people that are, you know above 40. now we have salt scrub great for people with extremely oily skin also great for tough skin we have emollient scrub, scrub super great for dry skin so that is why i said you need to know your skin type before you know what scrub to go for or what skincare product to go for so make sure you scrub at least two to three times in a week you need your body lotion your body lotion you can actually get to one for the day one for the night do not forget what i said that during the day you protect and at night you can use your brightening products okay so during the day you can use lotions that moisturize with zero or little or no ingredients that can lighten because especially if you are in this part of the world which is africa which where it's sunny almost every day okay so after getting your lotion another thing you want to make sure you get is to detach your facial product away from your body product it's very very important there are some ingredients that are embedded in body product that they are not suitable to be used on the face and the earlier you know this the faster you will be saved from getting your skin clogged okay so are you the type that you always have this whitish kind of thing the yoba people call it egusi most times when you have that stuff it's because of accumulated dirt over time you've, you've overused products that are not even meant to be used for your face some people even go as far as breaking out heavily from using body lotions and i also don't advise you use your body lotion on your face because any lotion that can be used on both body on face of and face can would probably be stronger for the face more than it is for the body to not even out or tone the skin in the same proportion that's what i feel though so you also need to get um sunscreen so that means i mean since you have talked about i said scrub i said um lotion both day and night so if you want to go for day lotion you can go for body butters okay they are really really good they will moisturize your skin and also you know you know repair they also repair they fix your skin so body butters should be your best friend okay. facial toner hand or cleanser now i would advise you go for facial toner if you're the type that is prone to redness aside that toners the first job of a toner is to help to reset the ph level of your skin as we all know that soaps are naturally alkaline in nature that is once you go to the bathroom to use your soap your skin's ph automatically rises and one way to bring it back to its normal point is by using facial toners just spray you know certain some on your face dab with cotton wool or even spray and leave to dry it goes a long way it will help you avoid um you know sun damage it will help you reduce redness it will help smoothing out your face it will help restore your skin's ph a whole lot of benefits toner have now toners and cleansers they don't exactly do the same thing cleansers usually contain some cleansers not whole contain alcohol and that most people don't like because of the the harshness or the smell or the conch smell of the alcohol most people don't like using cleanser and they don't do the same thing cleansers most time they deep cleanse into the pores they they are majorly channeled towards lightening or treating hyperpigmentation and so on and so forth and they are more concentrated than toners are so toners okay. can be used either morning or night depending on the ingredient content in them but i will advise you to use them during the day now the next thing you need to have in your skincare pack is vitamin c or more i am hydrating toning facial serum you need a facial serum okay see there are some things that just face cream is not even enough to do and one of them is the work of facial serum now if you notice facial serums they have this thick um less oily watery like consistency do you understand anytime you use facial serum i don't know if you've tried what i'm saying you experience certain level of hydration on your face do you understand so um facial serums are very very important 
and depending on the facial serum you're using like i said earlier if you're using the likes of retinoid which helps to reverse signs of aging it helps you to basically slow down signs of aging it heals then you can use those in the morning vitamin c also you can also use it though in the morning so probably if you're using maybe lightening or brightening extremely brightening facial serum then you can probably ship those ones at night that's why i said you need to have morning routine and night routine at night you can use your lightning brightening products during the day you protect and repair do not forget that should be your watch word day protect repair night lighting and brighten the last but not the least there might be more in your set but these are the basic thing as a basic as as a starter for skincare product usage that you must have in your set so <clears throat> you need sunscreen okay now i usually get this question that i'm not fair do i need sunscreen everyone needs sunscreen even kids i know i know right everyone needs sunscreen what is sunscreen sunscreen is uv protector uh, see ultraviolence rays which is the uv rays uh either ultraviolence a or b is in charge of a whole lot of things skin damage health conditions that most people are facing ranging from sun damage getting skin diseases cancer a whole lot of things so application of sunscreen can help you prevent this from occurring now another thing i need to be very very clear about is sunscreen is not one-time application because that's the mistake most people make they just apply sunscreen when they are going to work in the morning and then they go to work and forget they act as if they are protected all day there is no such thing as a sunscreen that can protect your skin against the sun for 24 hours there's no such sunscreen that is why they always advise you to carry your sunscreen everywhere you go the moment you sweat a little bit your sunscreen is washed off the moment you stay under the sun for so long your sunscreen has dried off so that is you have to constantly reapply your sunscreen at least you have to apply your sunscreen two to three times in a day if no more depending on how much you sweat or how long you stay under the sun so please please and please sunscreen is not a one-time application i know some people will be like what are the good sunscreen we have a lot of good sunscreen out there that doesn't create white cast i know that's why most people hate sunscreen because of the white cast for us personally we have a sunscreen as fast touch it is spf 60 and it's sold for six thousand naira. it's 100 mil and it will last you for a month and it does not create white scars just one time application and you're good to go now another thing i also want to say quickly say is that what is the right amount of sunscreen to use honestly most people make a mistake because you most people don't want their sunscreen to create white white scars on their face they will not apply a little i don't want it to be white i don't want it to be white like shyly let me just use small her you are not protected my sister you're wasting your time how do you know the exact something you use the two or three finger roll okay you get your sunscreen max it on your finger like this like so press it on your finger like this all the way here press the second finger all the way here i'll try and attach a video up here of me applying my sunscreen and how i did it it's better to use more than to use less okay so that is how to how to know that you've applied enough sunscreen so um i think i've really really talked a lot now if you need recommendation for any product that i just mentioned although at fast search we only sell fast search ready-made products we do not sell other brands products except supplement so if you need any of our products please kindly reach out to us via details in the caption down below if you have any video requests that you feel i've not made kindly drop it in the caption down below and i'm going to be right there to respond I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for staying tuned as always. Bye for now.